Hi, hello and welcome back. Again, another EOQ problem. This is uh, just like the previous problem, you know, with quantity discounts and where there are two price breakpoints, two quantity discounts. So let's solve this problem. Compute the EOQ given the following. The number of units bought at a time is given price per unit in rupees. Anything less than 1000, it'll be 10 rupees per unit. Uh, between 1000 to 2999, the price is 9.85 per unit. And if you buy 3000 units and above, the price applicable will be uh, 9.7. The order cost is rupees 60 per order and the carrying cost is 20% of the price. Annual requirement of the item is 10,000 uh, units. So, so let's solve this problem. Again, first things first. Y axis is price per unit. X axis is your lot size, purchase quantity. And you'll have two price breakpoints here B1 and B2. You'll have three prices here S1, S2, and S3. So, what is S1? 10 rupees per unit s2 is 9.85 per unit and s3 is 9.7 per unit all right now what is the first step we have to find out what is eoq with price s3 so find out what is eoq3 with price s3 2 into CO which is your ordering cost into A which is your annual requirement or annual demand for the item or component or material divided by S3 into F which is your carrying cost so this is 2 into what is CO 60 A is 10,000 divided by S3 what is S3 9.70 what is f f is 20 percent so 0 0.2 all right so when you solve this it gets six lakhs eighteen thousand five five six point seven zero equal to seven hundred eighty six point four nine now 786.49 units is lesser than B2. What is B2, by the way? Price breakpoint, this is 3,000. And B1 is 1,000. So, we found out the EOQ with price S3. And it is lesser than, you know, it is lesser than B2. But it is also lesser than B1. Okay, B2 is 3,000, B1 is 1,000. It is lesser than. So, which is lesser than B1. Now, if it is lesser than B1, then you'll have to find out what is total cost for EOQ1, what is total cost at B1, and what is total cost at B2. So, find out. So, total cost for... EOQ 1 is equal to square root of 2 into CO into S1 since we're finding out for EOQ 1 into F into A plus S1 into A. So square root of 2 into what is CO? It's 60. What is S1? S1 is 10 times F which is 20% so 0 0.2 times A which is 10,000 units plus S1 is 10 times 10,000 units so this would be 24 lakhs plus 1 lakh
Okay, so we have found out what is DC for EO go EO G1. And we have to find out now DC for of DC at B1 and DC at B2. Now, why do we have to find out why do we have to compare DC for EO G1 with DC at B1 and DC at B2? Why not just take only DC at B2? Now, the reason why we are taking DC at B1 and DC at B2 is because this EOQ3 is lesser than B2 and also lesser than B1. Now, if it is only lesser than B2 but greater than B1, then we need to find out what is DC for EOQ2 and compare that with DC at B2. But since in this problem, the EOQ3 is lesser than B2 as well as B1. We have to find out what is TC for EOQ1. Compare with the TC at B1 and TC at B2. So find out what is TC at B1. Price break point 1. Go to CO into A by Q plus Q by 2 into S2 into F plus S2 into A. Now, why are we taking S2? It's because you're at B1. The price applicable is S2. So what is CO? 60. What is A? 10,000 units. What is Q? Now, Q, B1 is 1,000. Plus 1,000 divided by 2 into S. What is S2? 9.85 times 0 0.2 plus S2 9.85 times 10,000. So 60, this will be 600 plus 985 plus 98,500. If you add up, it'll come to one lakh eighty-five. So we have found out what is TC at B one. Now find out what is TC at B two. TC at B two. It's again CO into A by Q plus Q by two into S three. Remember the price ac applicable at B two onward of uh, your b2 onwards is s3 s3 times f plus s3 times a so this will be 60 into a which is 10,000 divided by q which is 3,000 plus q is 3,000 divided by 2 into S3 which is 9.7 into F which is 20% so 0 0.2 plus S3 what is S3 9.70 times 10,000 so this will be 200 plus 2,910 plus 97,000 if you add up you come to one lakh one hundred and ten. Now compare the three costs T C for EOQ one, T C at B one and T C at B two. Which is the least of these three? Yes, the least is T C at B one. Alright. So since T C at B one is the lowest compared to DC for EOQ1 and DC at B2 the optimal order quantity will be B1 therefore 
So E O Q is equal to B one, which is one thousand units. So that is the answer. All right. So there you have it. So find out what was TC for E O Q one, TC at B one, TC at B two, which is the least, the lowest of these three. Okay, you'll find that the total cost at B one is the least. So therefore, the E O Q is equal to B one, which is one thousand. Suppose let's say that the TC at B two is the least. Then the T say let's say the T you know total cost at B two is the least. In that case, the E O Q will be equal to B two, which is three thousand. But since in this case, in this problem, the total cost at B one is the least compared to TC at B two and TC for E O Q one. The economic order quantity or the optimal order quantity will be equal to one thousand units. So this is another problem. So there you have it.